I am in the grandest of all grand parades. And what makes it so special? And these guys, right in front of me, the horses. Have a look at them. They're big, they're beautiful, they're muscular, they're powerful. It's horsepower by the handful. And this is the St Helier's Heavy Horse Field Day. But before we get started, let's go back to the early hours of this morning. A crystal clear day in the Hunter Valley. There's a little bit of mist in the valley. The sun's coming over the hill. There's a beautiful little nip in the air. You can see the hot breath of the horses. People are staying to stir because if your horse has got to look the best on the day, then there's lots to do. And the attention to detail is incredible. And I reckon these gentle giants have as much patience as their handlers. By putting the horses tails up and plaiting the mane and it just enhances the whole picture because when you go in the ring you just want to catch the judge's eye. Yeah. How magnificent is that? It's a true picture to behold, isn't it? So where did the heavy horse actually come from? Well, basically, the Northern Hemisphere. They were bred to work in the fields, but not only that, they doubled as war horses too, because you needed a very big horse to carry a knight in a suit of armour. And you've got to admit, these guys are pretty versatile. They spent all week ploughing the fields, carrying stuff around, carrying the kids to school. And on Sunday, they get all tarted up, and they're off to church. When you think heavy horse, you think of the big boys. Clydesdales, your classic draft horse. Notable by their colour and all this so-called feather, which is long hair down around the bottom of their legs. Under the scrutiny of judges, they get to strut their stuff. And Clydesdales are magnificent strutters. So it's a combination of the way the horse looks, the way the horse moves, and the way the horse is presented. In other words, are they nice and shiny in the coat? Do they look bright? Do they look well looked after? All of these things are taken into account in what is a lead class. Why is it a lead class? Because the horse is being led, that's why. Another stunning breed with a strong Aussie history is the Persian. So what are Persians as opposed to the other breeds of heavy horse? Basically, they're a French draft horse. They were used a lot in Australia because they're somewhat smaller than the other breeds, much more suited to our hotter, more humid sort of climate. Even if you don't know anything about horses, you have to be impressed with one ton William. And just listen to him hit the ground. He's a stallion, so we have to be just that little bit careful. But take a look at that hoof. <laughs> Jesse, nearly put it on mine. Have a look at the size of that. And that weighs a good, a good seven or eight kilos. Just the shoe and the foot. That's why farriers don't like to do them. <laughs> Another masterpiece in motion. Da Vinci, a three-year-old shire, a breed renowned for being the biggest horse in the world. I'm six and a bit. You're, you know, probably six threes, right? And he's still taller than you. Yes, there's a lot of horse there, isn't there? And there are a lot of horses to judge. It was a big day on the parade ground before those much sought after ribbons went around pretty big necks. Well, the serious competition's all over. And now it's time for the horse and the owner to have a bit of fun. Boy, is it fun. We've got barrel racing. We've got the big pumpkin pickup. And what's this? This is all about hay carting. It's a matter of loading all that hay onto a sled, whizzing up here, around that little cone, back again, and unloading it. Sounds like hard work to me, but these guys, they love it. One bail to the boys, back and back. Get behind them and tear them on. Heading back towards home. Well, they call it a race. But when you're that big and that heavy, you never do anything at top speed, do you? Yeah, 
These gentle giants were preened, presented, and even ridden. But a little later, we'll get to see them do what they were really bred to do. Things like chaff cutting, sledding, and ploughing. With the real workhorses of the equine world. <laughs> 